Well, hello, Internet. Today I'm going to show you how to install Fortran on Windows, along with a whole bunch of other things that you can read at the bottom of the screen. First thing you're going to want to do is get MinGW. Just go to SourceForge.net, Projects, MinGW, and click on Download. Whenever you do, you're going to click on Run, and then you're going to see this little guy pop up here. You're going to click on Install. Just put it in the standard directory, otherwise you could have some problems. Click on Continue. You're going to wait for that all to install. When you're done, you're going to see this right here. Then click on All Packages up here, and click on on MingW Developer and a whole bunch of these other things are going to be selected. You also want to get Make if that's not selected automatically for you. You're also going to want to get MingW32 Base. Then you're going to want to go to MingW Base System over on the left side. Make sure you have Base selected. If you want to install C++, click on this guy. If you want to install Fortran, of course, click on these guys. There is C++ and you're also going to want MingW32 GDB. After you do that, you're going to want to click on installation and apply changes. Whenever you do that, this is going to open up, click on apply, and then a whole bunch of things are going to download. After you're all done, click on close. All right, so you have that all set up. Now it's time to set up your environment variables. What I do is just click on start, go to environment, or type in environment, and you're going to see environment variables comes up here. Click on that. Whenever you do, of course, you're going to want to make sure MinGW is in the proper directory, which if you didn't change anything, it will be. You're going to click on advanced advanced in the thing that opens up and then click on environment variables. After you do that, this window is going to pop up. You're going to select path and then click on edit. After you do that, this window up here is going to open up and you're going to type in C colon backslash min G W. Make sure you get all of the cases correct and bin and then you're going to click on OK. Now I'm going to show you how to install NetBeans. Then you're going to go to NetBeans.org. You're going to go and download some stuff. I would just go and get the C, C++ part of it if you're installing for Fortran and that's all you care about as well as even C++ and then click on one or the other of these download buttons. Whenever you do, this is going to open up. You're going to click on yes. Then this is going to open up. You're going to click on next. You're going to accept the terms and click on next. I would just leave it in the standard directory. Click on next. It's going to install. Setup complete is going to come up and you're going to click on finish. After you do that, if you click on the start button, you're going to see NetBeans here and you're going to click on this to open up NetBeans. When you open up NetBeans, you're going to want to create a new project. So file new project. Just leave everything the way it is, even though it's weird. This is for Fortran. If you're, It also works for C and C++, but we're talking about Fortran today. So you're going to select this and then click on C, C++ application and click on next. This is going to pop up. Just let everything be the way that it is and click on finish. Then what you're going to want to do is come over here to where you have source files, right click on it, click on new and then you're going to click on Fortran file free format. After you do that, you can type in whatever you want your program to be called. You're going to put F90 inside of here most likely and also click on set this extension as default. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to click on finish. After you do that, type in this sample program. This is a Fortran program and you're going to come over here, click on run and run project. And after you do that, you're going to come down here and you're going to see hello world. If you also want to run G Fortran inside of a terminal or the command prompt as Windows calls it, you're going to want to change to the directory wherever you saved your Fortran file with CD. If you type in DIR, it's going to show all the files. There's the file that we want to run. You're just going to type in G Fortran main dot F90. Now, if you type in DIR, again you're going to see a.exe pops up on your screen and then your program is going to execute you're going to see right here what's your name if you then come in and type in Derek which you should you will see hello Derek please leave your questions and comments below otherwise till next time